Okay, let me show you how segment anything can be worked with in painting. So I'm just going to click on uh, the upload here and I'm going to take an image that I wanted to in paint. I'm just going to upload. Uh, that's the image. Now, if I wanted to segment out her, it would be a bit of a pain, right? Because I'd have to you know, directly mask this whole image and get it perfect. that would be a real pain. And I have to go around our whole body to do that, and nobody wants to do that. So I'm going to get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is instead is get this segment anything extension. So the way segment anything works is if I click on it and then I upload that same image, I could just click even just sometimes just once on the image and hit preview, and it should actually mask out that dress or you know that person or whatever it is we're trying to get. So while that's running, I'll just show you quickly how to install it. The There's an extension called SD Web UI Segment Anything, if you search for that. And in here, you have instructions for installing it, but you also have the different models. I've downloaded specifically this one, the 1.25 gig Samvit I, and that's what I'm using. You install it like this, you go to settings, Oh, no, sorry, you go to extensions, available, load from, and then that's going to load this. And then I'm just going to untick installed because I already have it. So here we go, segment. You can see SD Web UI segment anything. So that, that's where you install it from. You click install here, and then you just restart a automatic 11.11. So let's just see if it's worked. Yeah, and look at this. It's actually segmented out. And it's got given three guesses. One is the dress, one is the person. And I'm going to say like this one has done a really good job in terms of masking. It's split out specifically her. And then um, I'm just going to say copy to inpaint and switch to inpaint upload. And then I'm going to say white background. Hit generate. Just while it's doing that, I just want to show you where it goes. So when you download the model, you want to go to extensions and then you want to find the segment anything and then you want to put it into the models SAM here. Oh, here we go. I've got this backwards. <laughs> I generated a white background. So my prompt was the mask. I actually intended it to be the other way around. So that's fine. That should be uh, an easy thing to do i just click i actually sorry not that one i just want to in paint not masked uh, so just hit generate and uh, that's going to flip it around hopefully i should be able to just uh, generate the background but you can see how powerful this is right like he kept the background perfect here and i'm just going to see what this comes up with yeah here we go it's working you can imagine there's a lot of power here. You can generate quite a lot of stuff and you can make a lot of changes if you need. And because it's so perfect, like segmentation, it just really works well. If you wanted to segment more stuff, I would recommend doing them one at a time and then just saving them in a file and bringing them together, uh, the masks, but just because uh, it doesn't work that well if you click on multiple things. The other thing you can do though, is uh, you can use this thing called grounding dyno. If you click enable grounding dyno, and let's just put in a word, so like people, then just hit preview. It will attempt to find the people in the image and it's using a different kind of model for that, but it will hopefully find the people in the image and create masks and remove them out as well, which is very magical and powerful. <laughs> we'll see how that works. But this is uh, yeah, really useful. I think, uh, you know, in, in general, it just makes it very precise, uh, whatever it is you're trying to mask out. Yeah, and here we go. So it's it detected like her, at least as a person, and that's a pretty good mask. And if you try this in different images, you get different results. You can also dial up the threshold as well. Uh, like maybe if we st stick a higher or lower threshold, it might identify this guy as well. But uh, really powerful stuff, really useful. It's more advanced, obviously, because you have to use automatic 11.11, but I'm, I'm sure that's a barrier you can get across if it's going to save you a bunch of time masking. All right, hopefully that was useful.